Hi folks, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of October 8th, 2019. The charts in this presentation come from the Trade Navigator software that's provided to us by Genesis. And this is a weekly bond market chart, which uh, kind of is surprising me a little bit here. Uh, we've got a mixed bag, and let's see if we can figure out which is which. Um, after the exhaustion bar down here this week, they turned back up and then last week held support right where it needed to to continue to trend up and then wound up closing up strongly. Now, at that point, we still had a very negative momentum indicator down here, so it was very possible that this was going to be a test of this highs and a turn down. Now, that, of course, is still possible. But this week so far has also held the support that it needs to continue the trend up, which is around the 163.12 area. And that targets resistance up here around 166.12. Uh, that's just below the old highs, like 11, 12 ticks below the old highs here. So, you know, that's still a possibility that this is a test and they will roll over from here. And again, the momentum indicator down at the bottom of the screen is suggesting the momentum is slowed. But as long as they hold this as support, there's still a chance they can just blow right up to new highs here. And I here we had the, the Fed Chairman Powell out talking about some new form of quantitative easing, although he doesn't want to call it that. But um, yeah, who knows? Maybe that'll drive the bonds up. But we really have a mixed bag where they could go either way here. And it'll be fascinating to see which one of these wins, if either of them wins this week. It's very possible that that just consolidates this week and stays in a relatively small range. Now, looking at the stock market, and this is the S&P 500 E-mini, uh, we thought last week had the potential to grow down pretty hard. And it did. But it also recovered before the week was over to close back inside the previous range. Uh, that's a little confusing. I mean, they did the break like they were threatening to, but then recovered it. So, gosh, is that a real positive thing? Well, it could have been. However, this week so far, we would look at the, the 2969 area, the middle moving average here, as being sort of the critical point to determine how strong they are. And they haven't even been able to get there. And they've just sort of turned and broken down. Now, that is not a good sign at all. Um, but at the same time, they haven't really broken anything to speak of. I mean, the 29.27 area here, this lower moving average, the red line, they could have held that if they were really strong. They haven't done that. But they've got another target down here around 28.72, I believe, is the projected low. And as long as they stay above that, they're still okay. They're just consolidating this big move by staying within it. Um, is it possible that they break down below this 2855 low from last week? Well, yes, it's possible. But they, well, I don't know, they just don't, the scary thing about them not Trading this resistance means this blowdown is certainly possible. But as long as they stay above this support here, then you can't turn very negative on them. So, yeah, I don't know. With so much impeachment news and various things buffeting them, I'm not sure that you can get a clear picture of what the probabilities are here. Similar to the bond market, you can, you can make a case to go either way and boy, that's just not a time I care to be very aggressive trading when I can't figure out what the probable direction is. So that's where we are right now. Uh, thanks for checking in to see what we're 